Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And I'm going to show you how to animate parts in Moon Animator using the updated version of Moon Animator, which is this one. Unfortunately, it costs 800 Robux now, but if you already have the plugin, then you won't need to buy it again. So my last video is kind of confusing to people now, so I'm going to show you how to do it again. So I'm going to do something simple, same thing I did in my last video. <clears throat> so I'm going to have a part like this. This would just be a little base plate. And then on this, I'll have... You know like a part like this right here and then a part like this right here and then i'll name this one two base <clears throat> and then you want to duplicate base and then name this root and make it one transparency and then make sure uh one and two or all the parts that you want animated are unanchored now you want to go over to plugins easy weld which should be with moon animator <clears throat> then you can click on parts you want to select root and then hold control and click on one and two and then make sure animatable is checked and then click join in place and then you should have one and two like that now you want to group all these group as model <clears throat> name this whatever you want i'll just name it tutorial and then make sure the primary part is set to the root and then that's your rig done. So you want to open Moon Animator, click on New Moon 2 File, click the plus, and then click on your tutorial model. And it should say rig right here. Click that, and then click C frame, and then click OK. And then it'll insert your rig like this. So now you can go ahead and animate it however you want. I'm going to set like this, move this over here, move this back, and then move this up, and then just do the same thing kind of like that like that and then i'll set this to looped you can click this right here if you want your animation to be looped um if you don't want it to be to be looped then just make sure it has that line through it but mine's gonna be looped so it's gonna be like this it's kind of choppy because you know i just rushed it but that's your animation done so you want to click on file and then export rigs and then i'm gonna go ahead and save this real quick and then right here, it should, inside your model, there should be a model called Anim Saves. And then this will be your animation right here. So just right click on this and click Save to Roblox. And I'll just name this Part Test Anim like that. And then click Submit. And then copy this ID right here. And now I'm going to show you how to play it in game. So in your model, you want to insert a animation controller. And then insert a script. And then also insert an animation. And then just name this test anim and then put your animation ID in the property. So let's define local animation controller equals script parent animation controller local anim object equals script parent test anim local anim track equals animation controller load animation anim object. Like that. Now you can just do anim track play, and then it should play the tracks on the part in game. So if I just click run right here, the part should be animated in game. You can see right here they're animated, just how it showed in animator. If you need help with this, you can join my Discord server in the link in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to this room. We got a thousand or hundreds of subscribers, and yeah.